salute, salute. <clears throat> What's going on? The Sean Terry Rich Gang. I'm here working out. Y'all see I got my bootleg ghetto set up to keep the sun out my face while I'm working out because I'm in the I'm about to be doing some bleacher workouts. I got my big bottle. It's a um, Sans Pellegrino with a lemon wedge. Five drops of um, Keto Chow electrolytes in here and some ice to keep um, keep my electrolytes up and hydrated um we about to get this started so i do have bleacher workouts that i did when um i was working out last year you can go and look for them they may be under exercise or whatever i don't know but the bleacher workouts that i do is you know running the stairs and i do different ways that i um do it Today is not going to be a day that I um, am going to um, show y'all. It's 111 today, and I just want to get what I could get done and get back in my car. So I'll see y'all probably after I finish or doing when I'm um, cooking my meal and I'm showing y'all what I'm doing. Hello, welcome back. I am about to fix my dinner. So this is my pork belly right here. I'm going to put in the air fryer. I did um, pre-season it um, earlier this afternoon. So put this in, in the air fryer. This is gonna be one of my meals. I still have a piece of, um, let me get this straight. So I put my pork belly in the air fryer and now I'm about to make me some chicken tenders. These tenders I got from Costco's. Um, I seasoned them up earlier with some uh, Redmond's Real Salt, the smoked garlic, the smoked onion powder, and smoked paprika. I have one egg with a little dash of this um, heavy cream. I got my pork rind crumbs and I'ma dip them in. I just uh, whipped up a new batch just got some pork rinds that had good ingredients, pork rinds and salt. Put them in the um, food processor and let it go. And there you have it, your pork rinds. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll just let it go, but it'll be music um, to it. Artlist IO Music licensing reimagined. heat my grease which I'm just using some lard and I'm gonna cook them so here is my chicken tenders they look so good I haven't tasted them yet I bought this uh, hot sauce I saw this at sprouts but it was expensive and I'm really picky about hot sauces so normally I use um, red hot but I wanted to see how this tastes. They do come in, I think, spaghetti sauces and bigger bottles. But I wanted to see how this tastes. So that's what the little red dot is. These tenders are delicious. You see that juiciness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't sleep on your girl and her recipe and cooking skills. And this uh, hot sauce is good, too. Yep. 
here is my pork belly. I put it in the air fryer on 400 for um, 25 minutes. Um, I was over here doing my chicken. So that's why the fat part is a little dark, but it don't matter. Um, it's still going to eat the same, so I'm going to cut this up. So here is my pork belly. I had to put them back in the air fryer because it was a little pink in between some of them, I guess, at the thicker parts. So here's my pork belly. I'm going to pour some of this uh, Kinder's Zero Sugar Barbecue Sauce, which is really good. Um, the ingredients are pretty clean, in my opinion. Um, that's it. I bought mine at Sprouts, but I think you can buy it also at Fry's, maybe Whole Foods as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I am about to eat dinner. Hello, everybody. So, as part of my meal prepping today, um, I forgot to show y'all this. Um, I prepped my meats, which was my pork belly, which y'all see I had for dinner. I showed y'all the... Um, fried chicken tender recipe carnivore style very easy similar to how I make my chicken wings I forgot to show y'all my keto chow and if I did and I just didn't remember you gonna watch it again so anywho I've been doing keto chow since I think about February and um, they are the best meal replacement protein shake I've ever tasted that you don't have to doctor up. You can just use water, your fat, and shake it up in the blender bottle. That's it. You ain't gotta do nothing else. Every protein shake that I've used, I've had to doctor up. I couldn't drink that stuff straight. I would say J. Rob's uh, vanilla. I haven't I never had his chocolate, but I had his vanilla. And that's probably a second, but you can taste the, um, I don't know if it has stevia in it, but again, that was like a second because, you know, you can add, you know, a few berries to your smoothie or whatever and go on about your business. But this is by far the best tasting protein shake, meal replacement shake that I've ever tasted and that, um, that I've ever had that gives you one third of your minerals, one third of your vitamins and its minerals minerals in it. Also too, um, I do have a link in a discount code for 10% off your orders. So you can use it anytime. It'll always be in the comment section and I will pin it so it'll be a pinned post. But today I made two egg puddings using keto chow. I did a pistachio and I did a banana. Um, I do have uh, recipes on my video of a couple of keto chow egg puddings that I have done. Um, and it's about the same as nothing different. And um, you can do so much with keto chow. You don't just have to make them as a shake. People have made um, cheesecakes, um, waffles, pancakes, chaffles, pudding, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a host of things that you can do with keto chow. You, you don't have to use it as a shake, um, if you don't want to. And it's, it's a quick thing to, you know, snatch out of the, you can make them up. They last for about a week, about six to seven days if you pre-make them. Uh, so the longer you let them sit, the more the taste comes through on them, whether you do a shake, whether you do the pudding. Um, yeah, and they have over probably 30 flavors or something like that. So I just wanted to show y'all part of my meal prep. I wasn't sure if I put it in one of my videos or if I talked about it, I was sitting up here editing so I could upload this video for tomorrow. And I said, hey, I didn't show them my keto chow, but if I did, y'all seeing it again. So um, if you're interested in keto chow, and I use the electrolytes as well, I use the, um, let me show y'all. These are electrolyte drops. They have electrolyte drops, fasting drops, and they have the daily minerals. Um, I know I showed y'all that. 
Um, I bought a small bottle that was um, put together by Dr. Ken Berry. But um, I want to say this is, and I use their magnesium. And so, uh, in electrolytes, that's what you're looking for, potassium, sodium, uh, things like that. And it is nothing in it, so there's no sweeteners or anything. So you could just pop, plop it in your water and go. It won't break your fast or anything like that. So um, I like the electrolyte drops. I do notice that when I don't take them and... Um, I end up having headaches or I wake up with a headache. So once I get my magnesium in and my electrolyte drops, um, I'm good to go. So yeah, since I've been working out, I've been making sure not to um, un underdo my electrolytes because of the simple fact that I'm working out and I'm sweating tremendously. So I did five dropper fulls in my um, water that I took the workout with. So, yeah, so give them a try. Small family, husband and wife business. They're very open, sweethearts, and uh, you can't go wrong. Either, you know, you like it or you don't. Um, and stay tuned for the rest of the video.